Welcome again to our APOS training section. This time I want to show you how to use the oscilloscope. So I use the same program like last time. I start it again here with execute F5 and you all see the position information inside here our simulator. But okay, these are just some numbers going up and down. If you want to have more details, an oscilloscope would be nice. So I make the APOS screen a little bit wider and here you have an icon called oscilloscope free run. I open up this icon and maximize the window and then I have the possibility to define which curves I'm interested in. So I here click on this plus curve sign and I say okay I'm interested in axis process data, actual position and do you remember so it was here information defined in the object dictionary with the online help. Here you see if you go down to process data you have the list about all these names and about the meaning. So I close this again and I select already I think so. Uh, no I didn't so I say add. I have this position value and perhaps I'm also interested in the velocity information of this axis. And then I say, okay, I use in my example more than one axis. I'm also interested in, in the value of axis number two. I add it and also in the speed information of axis number two, I use another color. Okay, add and close. So now I have defined four curves I'm interested in. Then here in settings, oscilloscope, I can also define the poll rate I want to have here. I have two milliseconds and where is also possible to define the in kind of interpolation. If you really want to see the values, if you want to see a line or spline or something like that, I say, okay, that's fine for me. Then I can define, okay, on the left grid here, I want the position information and if I right click on axis 2, so these are linked together. So we have the same scaling and the velocity information I want to have on the right grid and I also press here the right mouse button, then this velocity information of axis 1 and 2 is also linked together. But now let's start. So here you see two curves. Wait a little bit until we have a complete lines, and then we can look what it is. Okay, here the red line is the position information. So here you see we are in standstill, and now it goes down again. So now I say stop and have a look on the complete lines. So the red one, I, let me make this one here too invisible. So this is axis 1 position information and here we have the velocity information. You see it's a trapezoidal profile but the acceleration is deeper than the deceleration. That's what we defined in the program. And here you see the velocity. Then let's have a look on the velocity profile of axis 2. So you see velocity of axis 2 is much lower then of axis 1, if we have a look in the program, here you see axis 1 had 100% velocity and axis number 2 just had 10%. So that is the same what you see here in the oscilloscope. So we can also measure if I go in here and I move this one here so I can see, let me see, here I have a value of 33. Here I have a value of 3.3 internal velocity speed information, so that's 10%. Then you have the possibility also to zoom in wherever you want and zoom out again. So that was a little bit about the oscilloscope. Not too much. I recommend play around, try around. For example, you can also here right click on one 
of the curves and modify the properties if you want so you can select another color or what's also possible let me show you can also add the derived curve so you can say okay derived position for example so and let's say okay I will derive actual position of axis 1 that would be velocity and close again so here we have our derived curve so the derived curve in fact it's the same like the velocity information if I switch it on and switch it off so you see it okay that's all for today and play around try and have fun with it yeah thanks bye